friends today we are going to discuss square of repeated digits part 1 in this part we are discussing the repeated digits of the squares of three multiples what are the three multiples 3 6 9 these squares can be calculated in easy way without using any calculator without using calculations also how it is possible just listen here 33 square equals to 1089 suppose 3 3 3 3 square equals to 1 1 square equals to 4 4 4 3 3 6 square equals to 9998001 how it is possible by seeing the number we can able to see the squares of repeated digits first we discuss the square of the 3 we will discuss the square of the repeated digits of 3 We know that three square equals to nine, but here we will take zero nine. Next, thirty-three square equals to. Here, how many threes are there? Two threes. First, we we'll write zero nine. We want to insert one blank before zero and after zero. Why you you we use one blank? that means here there are two digits so we are inserting one less than the number of digits so one blank before zero and one blank after zero suppose there are four threes then we have to insert one less than the number of digits that is three blanks before zero and after zero now we want to fill these two blanks in easy way here it is zero so add one to this number so zero plus one is one subtract one from this number that is nine nine minus one is eight that's all that is three square equals to one zero eight nine suppose three hundred thirty three square equals to we know that three square is zero nine here there are three digits that's why we have to insert two blanks before zero and two blanks after zero so adding one to this number zero zero plus one is one we write the same number as it is here it is nine we have to subtract one from this number so 8 8 9 that's all suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 squares here there are Six threes. Now we want we have to find this value without using calculator. We know that three square equals to zero nine. There are six digits, so we have to insert five blanks before zero and five blanks after zero. We have to add one for this first number that is zero. Zero plus one is one. One 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 one. One. We have to subtract one from this number. So nine minus one is eight. So eight, 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 eight. So we can easily find the squares of repeated digits of three. Now we will discuss the repeated digits of six. We know that six square is thirty-six. In the same manner, sixty-six square equals to this is a two-digit number, but six square is Thirty-six. There are two digits. We have to insert one blank before three and one blank after three. Now we want to add one for this number. That is three plus one is four. We have to subtract one from this number. That is six minus one is five. Suppose there are four sixes. That is. Six thousand six hundred sixty-six square equals to. We know that six square is thirty-six. Four sixes. 
we have to insert one less than the number of digits that means here we have to insert three blanks before three and three blanks after three now we want to fill these blanks here this is three we have to add one for this number that is three plus one is four 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 next we have to subtract one from this number this is six six minus one is five 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 like that we can easily fill the repeated digits of the six squares now we will discuss the squares of repeated digits of nine we know that nine square equals to 81 suppose we want to find 99 square here we write 9 square 81 this is a two digit number that's why we have to insert one less than the number of digits here two digits so 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have to insert one blank before 8 and one blank after 8 so we have to add one for this number this is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 we have to subtract one for this number this is one one minus one is zero nine eight zero one suppose there are six nines now nine square equals to eighty one here there are six digits we have to insert five blanks before eight and five blanks after eight. Now we want to fill these blanks in easy way. Here this is eight. We have to add one for this number. Eight plus one is nine. So keep five nines. Here this is one. We have to subtract one from this number. That is one minus one is zero. We have to write five zeros. So in this manner we can able to find the squares of repeated digits so here there are 10 digits or more we can do the same process so thank you very much in next part we will discuss the squares of repeated digits of 1 and 5